think this Chargers thing would go on. I really didn't. I feel like from the jump, when Melvin Gordon was saying he was going to hold out, we sort of knew what that front office was all about. They weren't going to bend a ton. He's due 5.9, close to $6 million for 2019. He wants to be paid among the highest running backs. But you look at what Eckler did and you look at what Justin Jackson did, they were tremendous. So is this going to go into the regular season? If Melvin Gordon wants it to, because the other side doesn't seem to be bending. Kay, you nailed it. He's making $5 million this year. From what I'm told, the Chargers made a very generous offer, doubling or nearly doubling his yearly salary, multi-year contract. Mm. And he's still out there. Look, this is a franchise, San Diego Chargers, for the, for the last you know 70 years who didn't pay LaDainian Tomlinson mm. and saw him in a Jets jersey. <laughs> this is a franchise who let Darren Sproles leave and go on and play elsewhere. Melvin Gordon's not the first great Chargers running back to have issues with a contract, and he's not gonna be the last. I also don't think he's gonna be the first to suddenly have the Chargers do flips to get him into camp. They are far more concerned right now about Derwin James and trying to get him back on the field than whether Melvin is getting his deal. So, Eckler, Jackson, maybe there's another guy that steps up, Kay. Let's go, there's a Super Bowl contender. They're ready to roll. Yeah, the big difference uh, between LaDainian Thomas and Melvin Gordon, LaDainian, he was the number one running back in the game. I mean, some would say that he was mm. the best player in all of football, and they still didn't play him. I played against him, so I know just how good LaDainian was. But Melvin Gordon, think about his career. The first year, remember he couldn't get in the end zone. And people were like, what's going on with this running back? I mean, is he as good as we think he is? Then he was a little banged up, and then he went on this hot streak. Started jumping over guys, getting in the end zone, what seemed like every single week. And he's sitting back saying, okay, after a rough start to my career, being banged up, and now leading this team, I feel like I deserve a big chunk of change. And I'm not mad at him. And if we look at what Le'Veon Bell did last year, sitting out, sticking to his gun, saying, I'll walk away from $15 million. Mm -hmm. Just off the principle that you guys aren't appreciating what I bring to the field, he landed himself on a new team in a big market in New York, got the money he wanted. Everything's good for Le'Veon right now. The question is, is Melvin Gordon bold enough to pull Le'Veon Bell? And did Le'Veon Bell set a new precedent for guys who want to get paid? He may be bold enough. That my problem is that Melvin Gordon is not good as Le'Veon Bell. Like, Le'Veon Bell is special. Melvin Gordon, he's a great player. He's a B-level guy. And I hate to say that, but if you're looking in the front office, that's fine. And Peter... They let LaDainian go, and you think that was probably the right move at that juncture of his career? I mean, he'd gotten a lot of good football. 